Hi everybody, today I'm going to be showing you a really, really quick and easy way to make a YouTube banner. I've done quite a few of these videos in the past, but I recently discovered a new website that I think would be so helpful, especially if you aren't very familiar with pickmonkey.com. So I'm going to be using a different website to show you how to create a super easy banner, and it looks so cool, and it takes about like 5 to 10 minutes max. If you find this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up, and if you're not yet subscribed to my channel, be sure to do so. And I'll see you at the end of this video. First, you want to open your web browser, whichever one that may be. So Google Chrome, which I'm using, or you can use Safari, Internet Explorer, the list goes on. And you want to search photojet.com with an F. I'll also link it down below if it's easier for you, but you should come on this website and it looks like this. So we're going to click on the get started for creative collage setting. There's classic collage and then there's the creative one. So you just want to click on that and then you'll end up on this page right here. And where it says social media, you can click on YouTube cover. This is awesome because it's already like the template that you would usually download from YouTube But you don't have to because it's already on the website for you and they have a bunch of different templates as you can see right here You can just go and click through them and see which one you like and then I think I'm going to be using the good times one today in this video But there is so many templates that you can use and it's all free which is the best part I clicked on the good times template and here on the side as you could see I'm clicking through these other options so you can do a lot of cool things you can add like a lot of overlays on it or you can create your different background and they also have some preset backgrounds you can use as well but first I'm clicking on the good times and I'm highlighting it and deleting it and I'm obviously just putting my channel name which is Emily Dow and here on the right um, you can choose so many different fonts and this is very similar to PicMonkey except they don't charge you for any of the fonts so you can use any of those or if you want to use your own font you can definitely do so as well there's an option for you too which I will show you in a second right here so if you want to look for more fonts a website you can use is dafont.com I have it linked right here or in the description box but I really love like looking for my own font sometimes and I'm just adjusting the size of it it's very self-explanatory and once you get the size that you desire just go ahead and place it where you want now I'm just going to quickly show you the other settings that they offer. So one of them is that you can fix the opacity of the font. So whether you want it really opaque or really just like faded almost. And then you can also outline your font which is just directly outside of your font as you can see. And then the difference between that and glow is that glow goes outside of the outline and also it's more of like a highlighter effect so it's not as opaque but you can do one or the other you can do both it's totally up to you just go ahead and play with the settings and see what you like after that if you want to add more text you can go ahead and do so if not you can just press the trash can button and it deletes the little bottom row that you just saw and then now let's move on to the background so they have a few that are already preset for you and um, I was clicking through some of these and first you have to like click that little trash can button so you can see what these other backgrounds look like but you can also upload your own image so I downloaded some from Google so you can look for whatever picture you like and the only thing I don't like about this that you could do on PicMonkey is adjust specifically where you want your background to be but it's not a huge deal what I really like about PhotoJet is that it's very convenient and it's really easy to use there's little room to mess up on versus PicMonkey where there is a little bit more technique and skills that you would have to know but if you're just starting off on YouTube or you just want a banner that looks good this is a perfect website for you it doesn't take very much time like I said like this video is almost over and it took me like five minutes to create this banner and I also checked if I wanted to add any like overlays onto my banner but I didn't think that that would look good so I went ahead and saved my file you can just save it to your computer and it'll most likely save on your desktop and then now we're just gonna go on your YouTube channel be sure to leave that tab open just in case like anything happens but go ahead and go to my channel here on the left and make sure you're signed in obviously as well and then here on the right hand corner you'll see a little pen go ahead and click on it and edit channel art this window should appear and you can go ahead and select a file to upload from your computer which is the one that we just saved from the website and you shouldn't have any trouble uploading this file like there should be no reason because you're not worrying about the template you're not downloading a different template it's just set and there for you this part is optional but you can feel free to check to see how your banner looks across different devices and if you're satisfied go ahead and select it and it should upload and look super beautiful and it only took five minutes 
So, was that easy? It definitely was easy, right? This is like the quickest tutorial I've ever done for a YouTube banner, so I really hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, just go ahead and leave them in the comments, and I'll try to answer as many of them as possible. So, that is all I have to say. I will see you guys very soon. Bye!